I know that um, I'm a firm believer of using dental floss on all the connectors. Um, it's not like your volt watch is really anything important, but um, you know the the one that comes apart is the one that's going to cause you to crash. So uh, I just dental floss all the connectors together. It's easy to cut off if you need to take it off. Um, it's just common sense. I've seen batteries come connected during flights and once that's gone, your crash is, your flight is over. So uh, I pretty much dental floss everything on there. And um, so I just wanted to touch base with you on that. And I'm going to finish this up and we'll come back. Okay, I wanted to let you know that I've got the um, Volt Watch uh, secured. I use double sided tape. You can find those little square pads. These work great for securing um, stuff to it. Just make sure the uh, surface is clean. Um, you can use alcohol or um, any kind of cleaner that won't hurt the finish and uh, mount that on there. I mount mine right there. And for you guys that were wondering where this one goes, um, it plugs right into the side of the governor from the um, governor mount. There, and what I end up doing is securing these up here out of the way, and um, also with this, the throttle from your receiver has to be removed and taken down into the governor because the governor controls your throttle, and uh, these will feed into um, the throttle um, receiver and then the um, sensor wire will go into my auxiliary too. This is an AR7000. So um, I'm almost done here. I'll wrap it all up. I do use one of these uh, foam wraps over it all just to uh, double protect it. So uh, I've got foam around the battery and foam around everything else. So I'm going to tighten it all down and then we'll uh, go from here. Okay, here's the moment of truth for us. Um, once you get everything hooked up and cleaned up, then we've um, got to turn the radio on and uh, going to have to do some programming. So uh, hopefully I can try to touch base on that. Um, it's going to be a, probably another long video for that. So uh, bear with me. I may get to that eventually. But at this point, I'm going to turn it on. This one's, like I said, this was a rebuild. So uh, we're hoping everything... We're set up properly. So it's at the moment of truth is when you turn it on to see where everything lines up. So and we give our throttle, which would be now the on these the swash plate will uh, go down when you do throttle up. Mm -hmm. May have to rebind my radio, I believe. Not getting anything here, so bear with us here. Nice thing about this is that there's a blooper I just did. I had it on the wrong um, helicopter. I had it on my Hawk instead of the Pantera. And of course, it's not going to bind if you have the wrong uh, helicopter. That's the nice thing about Spectrums and um, so forth. So turn the radio on, and then we'll turn our power the helicopter on after your radio's on. You should have your uh, yellow lights on your receivers. They're solid. So when I throttle up, this should go down. Looking good there. Um, I haven't hooked up my uh, tail servo yet, so glad I checked that out. Uh, left, right, forward, back. Everything's working good there. So looks like all I have to do is hook up the uh, tail uh, drive back here and we should be ready to go so uh, of course we'll need blades and we'll look at tracking those make sure they're tracking right and so we should be at mid stick we should have everything even up here if you look at everything's 90 degrees let me raise this up so you can see that everything's 90 degrees across here all our arms that's the way you wanted to set it up so um, 
you might have to adjust your link rods if this is a new build for you and uh, get the best lineup you can and have an even swash plate so that's about it for now and we'll uh, work on getting our blades on and see what we can do so hope you guys enjoyed the build and uh, hopefully I can continue here on anything else someone needs so over and out Tiva Pro one thing I wanted to touch base on here is uh, once your radio is on and you can uh, hit idle put your uh, throttle at mid stick here and look how your tail blades should have about a five degree angle on them and your servo horn should be straight up so you have a uh, even there so make sure you're at mid stick and make sure your servo arm is lined up straight and make sure you only have a small angle in your blades so uh, about five degrees there and that should be working for you and you need to have a professional check your helicopter over if this is are you if you're new and you're got this thing built. Um, never anticipate that your setup is going to be perfect the first time. Um, I've even put these together and missed things that other people have seen, and and um, so it's better to have someone checking your work over that may know more or is as equal to you, and maybe I eyeball anything that may be wrong with your helicopter. So. Um, good luck with your flight and uh, blade tracking is also very important so make sure uh, your blade tracking is going to be okay once you get that lined up. Um, notorious thing to tool to have is your uh, pitch gauge so once you get your blades on you'll be uh, lining it up with the pitch gauge make sure you have even settings. Usually 10 negative to 10 positive some guys even go 12 12 12 um, with a um, mid stick you should be at zero on your blades and full stick should be 10 to 12 and 10 to negative 12 on the down side so that's what this one's set up at so we'll be getting blades on soon and Breaking in your new engine, be very careful. Um, do a, at least three three flights, if not four, just hovering it a couple feet off the ground. Um, make sure your gyro is set up properly in the bat um, for your tail. Um, like I said, have somebody professional or uh, someone that's qualified to uh, set these up to look it over for you. So good luck, guys.